we took a break from our busy lives in London to explore Norwich, an ancient town in North Norfolk. We're going to share the best places to eat, shop, and explore as we discover the beautiful market town of Norwich. We arrived in the city early on Sunday morning, and our first stop was a Danish-inspired bakery called Frakost. Everything here is completely vegan, and the coffee and Danish buns were excellent. So we're a vegan Danish eatery. Um, we do like the buns, which are kind of signature. And yeah, we sell lunch, breakfast, and coffee. It's, you'd never know they're vegan though. So. Hey. <laughs> we do have some, like, some Thank you so much, it looks great. Really? Oh, look at this beautiful cup and saucer. I actually love these. Really nice decaf for me. It's got a really nice crust. Mm, it's crunchy, but soft in the middle. Okay. Sweet, it's quite savory. It's really a great balance. Oh, we're lucky there. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> the perfect first stop on this Norwich travel guide. We spent the next hour walking around the city and taking in the sights and sounds. Eventually arriving at Norwich Cathedral which has adorned the city's skyline for over 900 years. I wasn't yes. sure. Yes. Thank you. We found the cathedral yeah. and the people working there warm fine. and progressive. We spent a few moments enjoying the quiet solitude before making our way for lunch. The cathedral is so beautiful and also so much bigger than you think. You kind of do the first bit and then come through to a whole other section. It's huge, like really vast and stunning. And it's dog friendly. I think this is Jibs' first cathedral. <laughs> Norwich is such a unique city. Literally on every corner is a church that's older and more beautiful than the last. So if you do end up coming here, definitely visit the cathedral and some of the smaller churches as well. Norwich is peppered with good places to eat and we were recommended the hashery as well as the deli in Gerald's, a local department store. But as we were walking around, we came across a bustling cafe called JC Pinto and had lunch there instead. And they have such a nice thing. Look under the winter warmers. They've got um, hot water and lemon with ginger, honey, cloves and cinnamon in a pot, which is like my dream drink. No, but look inside, it's so pretty. Clove studded lemons with ginger, and it smells amazing. I'll get the quesadilla. Yeah, nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Mm, and it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh... It looks really good. Yeah, we're just going to big circle. Breakfast burrito. Binaisha enjoyed a veggie burrito while I chowed down on a delicious quesadilla. <laughs> After lunch, we decided to do a bit of shopping, of which Norwich has many good options. And look at what they're saying here. If you come to Norwich, you can So you've just walked through the beautiful arcade to find Norwich Market and it's closed on a Sunday, so if you're here for the weekend, Perfect. make sure to come on a Saturday. Since the market was closed, we walked over to Norfolk Retro. Benaisha does love a vintage store and had arranged to meet the founder Laura to learn everything about her upcycled furniture and antiques. So what's the what's the concept here? Like what's the store concept? Um, see, that was asking me a proper question. I was alright when I was just doing the uh, what's the concept? Right, so the concept is um, vintage but for modern interiors and you just want to buy something that's um, second hand but it fits well in a modern interior so I would say vintage that works well in modern homes. Oh thanks, so lovely. Do, do you just really love walking in front of the camera like... <laughs> 
few hours later, we made our way to Tofurai to meet another small business owner named Jenny to learn about her unique tofu concept. We are a local Norwich tofu producer and we grow local soya beans and then we make local tofu from those soya beans. Well, we're a vegan company, so we've been running for like six years now. And we just like to showcase tofu and because I feel like before I started Tofu Right, I hated tofu and I was thinking, oh, it's disgusting, it's just this white, white lump, I'm like, no thank you. But then I actually tried it and I thought, oh, okay, it's really versatile and you can do things with it. So, put it to cheesecakes and you can make it savoury. So, there's lots of like, potential there. <laughs> yeah, so good fun. <laughs> She very kindly fed us a warm bowl of tofu noodle soup and the most delicious tofu cheesecake. So yummy. Everything we ate here was both gluten and dairy free and super delicious. If you asked me if this was vegan and had no tofu in it, uh, no dairy in it, I would have no idea. Yeah. Jenny, the cheesecake is amazing. Thank you so much. It is so, so good. It's, it's yeah. really good. <laughs> Like you say, it's just a knowledge of knowledge, yes, the knowledge of baking and, yeah. and substitutions and stuff. If you want to be healthy, then... <laughs> Otherwise, just eat bread. <laughs> just eat bread 24-7. I wish I'd had a joke with me that my entire diet was dough for like a long time. I was just like, oh, are you eating dough again? What a surprise. <laughs> it was getting quite late and we drove over to our Airbnb just outside of Norwich. It was the perfect place to stay, a recently renovated, sustainable zero-waste apartment, with classical music on the radio and doggy treats for our pup, who at this point was exhausted after a long day. It's beautiful, isn't it? As Chips retired for the evening, Benaisha and I visited our last stop of the day, Gunton Arms, a wildlife estate spanning over a thousand acres. The pub at the Gunton is a much visit on your trip to Norfolk, both for the food and the warm and inviting atmosphere. The unique thing about this pub is the walls are covered in contemporary art. Fancy some of my lovely beetroot. We enjoyed a glass of wine, some locally sourced venison, and a generous portion of fish and chips. perfect ending to a day well spent. The next morning we made our way to Holt and Wells on the Sea for another day of exploration in North Norfolk. You can watch the video below and if you enjoyed the sustainable travel guide, take a moment to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.